Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a renowned king named Alistair ruled. He was respected for his strength and sharp mind. But a thorn pricked his side, a growing problem of lawlessness. Alistair pondered solutions night and day, but the answer remained elusive. One bright morning, a brilliant idea struck Alistair. He called his people together and announced the construction of a giant stadium right in the heart of the town. This magnificent structure would hold a staggering 5,000 people. The people buzzed with excitement, some envisioning games, others picturing lively music and dance. But Alistair had a different purpose in mind. He addressed the crowd, expressing his gratitude for their dedication. This stadium, he declared, won't be for entertainment, but for justice. Anyone who disobeys the law will stand before us all, right here in this very stadium. He pointed towards two identical blue doors at the far end. Behind one door, he revealed, waits a ferocious tiger. Behind the other, a beautiful woman. The lawbreaker will choose a door. If he picks the wrong one, the tiger springs out and attacks. But if he picks the right door, he gets to marry the woman right here, right now, and they live happily ever after. The crowd gasped. This was a difficult choice, life or death, husband or ferocious beast. Alistair's idea was both cruel and clever. The people mumbled their agreement a tremor of fear running through the crowd. Every week, the stadium filled with eager spectators. A man who had broken a law stood in the center, forced to make this terrifying decision. Sometimes, fortune smiled upon him. He opened the right door, revealing a radiant woman. The stadium erupted in cheers, flowers rained down, and the couple embarked on their new life together. Other times, the door opened to a ferocious tiger. The beast roared, silencing the crowd with its terrifying sound. In a horrifying scene, the man was mauled by the tiger. The crowd dispersed, somber and shaken by the sight. The number of crimes dropped dramatically. The thought of the stadium loomed large, a constant reminder of the potential consequences of wrongdoing. Now, Alistair had a daughter, Princess Anya. With emerald eyes and fiery red hair, she was as quick as a cat and possessed both her father's strength and cunning. Her smile was a rare treasure, but captivating, her frown chilling. One day, while strolling through the palace gardens, she encountered a handsome young gardener named Ethan. Tall and strong, with dark blue hair and a charming smile, he captivated the princess. They conversed, their attraction growing with each word. Ethan, unaware of her true identity, was bewildered by her attention. Their secret meetings continued, fueled by a blossoming love. However, their clandestine affair was discovered by the king. Enraged, he imprisoned Ethan, throwing him into a dark, 
damped cell with meager rations. Anya, a woman of action, wouldn't stand idly by. Knowing her father's brutal justice, she devised a daring plan. Early next morning, she ventured to the stadium, unseen by all. Bribing the guards, she learned the tiger's location and the identity of the woman chosen for the next ceremony, the daughter of the royal carriage driver, a beautiful girl named Clara with dark brown hair. The princess fumed. Not only was her love imprisoned, but the woman chosen for him was someone she disliked. She couldn't bear the thought of him marrying another. The afternoon arrived, and the people flocked to the stadium. Ethan, weak and disoriented, was brought forth. The king addressed the crowd, outlining Ethan's crime and the impending choice. The princess sat beside the king, her face an unreadable mask. As Ethan stood terrified in the center, his eyes met Anya's. Though she displayed no smile, something in her gaze flickered. A subtle movement, the princess's pinky finger shifted ever so slightly to the left. Ethan, understanding her silent signal, walked towards the left door. With bated breath, the audience watched as he slowly reached out and opened the door. Here, the story ends. The princess, a woman of both love and vengeance, had manipulated the outcome. But what was behind the door? Did she condemn Ethan to the tiger's wrath? Or, did she orchestrate his escape, allowing him to live with another woman? The final decision remains a mystery, forever locked within the princess's cunning mind. <laughs>